Number six, repeat exercise 22.5 for a negative charge now. All right, so in talking about this problem, I'm going to assume you have watched problem number one and two. All right, if you have not, please watch them, especially number one. You're also going to have to watch number two, though, for this chapter because I talked about a negative charge and how to deal with it. The discussion from here forth will be assume it will be assumed that you have watched those. Okay, so I'm going to run through this. So now we're going to use right hand rule number one to analyze this. So the first thing is you have to now take your thumb and you have to point it upwards. Okay, so remember you're going to keep your hand in that rigid, locked, shaked position, so to speak, and you got to point your thumb up. Okay, now with your thumb up, you have to now take the back of your hand because we're talking about a negative charge. The force is pointing from the back of your hand now, and you have to take your hand and make sure that the back of the hand is now pointing to the left. So with your thumb pointing up, you have to like rotate your wrist. This should feel kind of awkward. Okay. And you have to now take your, oops, I hit the mic because I'm trying to do it myself. You have to take your, um, the back of your palm and now point it to the left while your thumb is still pointing up. Now, if that's what you're doing, you're going to realize those four fingers should be pointing towards you. Okay. They should be pointing towards you. In other words, remember, as we talked about in number one, the little dots represent towards you, okay? So this is the direction of then the magnetic field for a negative charge now. This would be to you or out, we could call it out of the page. All right, letter now B. So point, keep your thumb in that, keep your hand in that rigid locked shaked position. First point your thumb downwards, okay? So the thumb goes down. Now what you have to do is you have to make sure the back of your palm now or the back of your hand, I shouldn't really say palm, the back of your hand is pointing now into the page. So the back of your hand now should be facing the computer screen. Your thumb should be pointing downwards, directly down to the floor. The back of your hand should be pointing towards that computer screen. And if you're doing that properly, the four fingers now keeping all 90 degree angles should be pointing now to the right. Okay, should be pointing to the right. So that is then the direction of the magnetic field, B. All right, to the right. Last but not least, letter C. Keep your hand in that rigid lock position. First, face your thumb to the left. Okay, so I'm putting my thumb facing it to the left. With your thumb to the left, you have to make sure that your palm is the back of, excuse me, the back of your hand is pointing upwards. And the reason why it's the back of the hand is because we're talking about a negative charge. If it were a positive charge, I would have said your palm. But I did say your palm, so I made a mistake, obviously. So the back of your hand, all right, should be pointing up. Now, if your thumb is pointing to the left and the back of your hand is pointing upwards, it should, by the way, look right now like you're asking someone to kiss your hand, kind of. Okay, kiss the back of your hand. Um, your, th your four fingers then should be pointing into the computer screen. They should be pointing into the screen or AKA away from you. And that's what the X's represent. So this here, my friends, is the magnetic field. And that is now into page or screen, whatever you want to call it. All right. So hopefully that helps, guys. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. Uh, please check out those other numbers as well, number one and two. Take care.